Hey, Tony Model from Salmon Trout Steelheader, and today I'm going fishing with Justin Wolf from Angler West TV, and I'm also going to be fishing with Randy Bonner. He's a professional writer that writes articles for Salmon Trout Steelheader, and it's going to be great. Beautiful day. It's springtime. The sun is coming up over here, and I got the boat all set up, ready to go. So we're going to have a good time. So I just got to the boat launch and Randy is right here. He's got some rods. He's geared up. Hopefully I got enough room on the boat because we'll probably have about 20 rods with us. Hey Randy, how you doing? End of winter steelhead season, beginning of springer season transitioning between the two i am at peak disorganization right now yeah me too living I was all, out of my vehicle pretty much i was all stressed out about uh getting ready <laughs> last night and then i couldn't even get coffee because all the coffee was out at the gas station but water will work i guess so hey here we are we got the boat in justin just showed up here and we're getting excited to take off oh, and yeah. uh, catch some fish river looks really good it's got that nice green glacial tint to it and I've heard some good things over the last few days so here we go So we've been fishing our way up the river, doing a little side drifting with beads. No luck yet. We're going to keep trying with that, but uh, we just pulled over here on the bank and uh, uh, hopefully we can uh, pick one out just uh, like running a fine tooth comb through the run right below us. So. There we go. Yeah, right here. This is beautiful. All right, Randy, you go ahead and uh, go on out, and then I'll, I'll come right behind you, and right. hopefully we can find a fish in here somewhere. This is a great run, a nice spot to fish from the bank, and the weather's beautiful. Well, no fish at this spot. We gave it an honest try. It's a beautiful run right here. And uh, onto uh, greener pastures or runs, right? It's a good spot. I remember filming your brother catching fish here. All right, Tony, come on, let's see it. <laughs> I know, I'm trying. Then I got this guy, he even wrote a book. What the heck's going on, right? <laughs> so anyway, we're not done. We're not, we're not done yet. We're gonna keep trying. Then I might have to buy these guys lunch or something. <laughs> right? Wah, wah, wah. You got a steel out there. Go! Oh, nice! Beauteous, you guys. Oh, I bet that's a summer. Looks like a chrome piece. Good job, Randy. Looks like you're catching the smolts and the real steelhead today, huh? Oh man, he is definitely he is definitely wrapped up. Uh, you know what? We're gonna have to chase after this fish just because the current's gonna pull it downstream. <laughs> Oh, 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 there we go. What's your worm? What's that worm hanging over the edge? I got it, I got it. Okay, <laughs> dude, get over here. Got it. <laughs> Woo -hoo, Woo. Nice. Woo. Look at that. Looks like a nice. Well, gosh, you know what? That looks like okay. a... Maybe he does have the trailer. Oh, no, it's a wild. It's a wild fish. Nice. Yeah. Good job. And he was just wrapped up in the line at that point. He'd already spit the hook. Or she. 
Beauteous Randy, good job, man. Send awesome. Yeah, oh, well, we got her. Let her home, love. Let her home. We're okay. Woo! Sweet. There you go. Success. All right, All right guys. Yes. <laughs> hey, Dave, how you doing? So, uh, going? so we just got one. Nice. We got a nice native and uh, let it go. What along with you guys? Did you, uh, did you fish a little bit down below? Yeah, I just got rigged up, so I, when you showed up, I would be completely unprepared. Nice. Yeah, yeah I was really worried that uh, I was just taking these guys for a boat ride today, <laughs> but I could I could tell they were falling asleep on me. Well, I, I've got like four or five smolts, and I just caught a smolt, and the float went down, and then it felt a little bigger than a smolt. Good. So, so where are you headed? Are you gonna head back down there and we'll come we'll come visit you on the bank, eh? Okay? Alright, so we just got that beautiful fish, let it go, Randy got it. And then my friend Dave Kilhefner's out here, he's fly fishing with uh, beads right here. I mean what a perfect setup for uh, fishing for steelhead. Talk about a natural. What's more natural than a fish egg, right? I mean seriously, you're you're, you're imitating what's in the river. Well, so uh Okay, so, yeah, explain what you got. So about 20 years ago, one of my fly fishing mentors um, that doesn't tie flies came up with this because he uh, ran out of flies and um, put that together and he started catching just as many fish as anybody. So it's just two beads with a little bit of crystal flash wound into the egg loop. It seems to fish, I like to say, as good or as bad as anything when you're fly fishing for steelhead. <laughs> it's always, it's still tough. So, so when you're fishing out here, like today, the water's kind of high, it's a little green, pretty clear though, for the most part. Where, where are you finding the fish? Are they out behind the structure? Are they right they're tucked be, in the edges? Gonna, so yeah, on a day like today with the water up a little bit, they're gonna be on the inside edges in the softer water. And you know, I'm not nymph fishing it, I'm just swinging it like a standard steelhead wet fly pattern. Yeah. And it, like I said, it fishes pretty good, and uh, it's really easy to make. So I met Dave through the Northwest Outdoor Riders Association at the conference several years ago. And uh, he's been he's been a, a great leader for that organization, and uh, talked me into joining and becoming a member. And I think I've been a member for, what, five years now? summer fish right where it was supposed to be on my line <laughs> look at that beauty rubber worm Bob we're gonna have to float it through these ripples here and then uh, come out on the other side good right now you sure there we go that's a, ha that's a hatchery fish it's the summer so bring it on in Look at how chrome bright she is. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Wow, guys. Woo! Awesome. Ha <laughs> ha. Is it shining right? Yep. Yeah, baby. Look at that beauty, huh? Chrome bright. Beautiful fish. I don't know if it's got any sea lice on it, but I would not doubt if it did because this is a nickel hatchery summer fish. Beautiful. Come out and get yours. So we just had a great trip on the river and Randy's here and he is gonna show us 
how to flay this beautiful summer steelhead. And uh, we couldn't find a picnic bench, but we found this nice tree that has fallen over. And uh, try to keep this rustic, and here we go. So we got a winter, and this one's a summer, hatchery summer. And uh, the cool thing about summers, they got a lot longer of a journey to make. They're in the river a lot longer to spawn, which means that they have a lot higher fat content stored up to make the journey. Yeah, and this so fish. So we're gonna have some really good meat in this fish. Yeah, and this fish was just a rocket coming out of the water, just on fire. Look at that nice, nice red meat in there. <laughs> Those were gonna be the skeins right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very fresh summer. Beautiful. Boy, my mouth is watering already. Hole in there for handle. Mm -hmm. Nice. What? number two or uh, fillet number two grips pretty much came off with yeah, that one. that's tight nice job. no waste right oh, some of that belly fat right there mm. Beautiful. Nice. Thanks, Randy. Yep. No problem. Thanks for having me out. Oh, I think uh, I think I owe you half of <laughs> one of the, those uh, fillets, so we'll do that deal for sure. Thank you, sir. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's been a good day, and we will see you next time. Thanks.